a little spot. Well, good morning. So here we are down at the second mark of our uh, Orkney adventure. This one looks really canny, uh, really easy access as well compared to some of the other marks that I've been to. And uh, unfortunately, there's 40 mile an hour winds blowing, and as you can probably see on the lens, it's raining as well. But uh, because the wind's so strong, and the winds, just, the rain's just blowing through, so probably hang around outside of the uh, the main gusts here for 10 15 minutes and then head out onto that point because the wind is just it's side on so heavy lures um casting into the wind pretty much only i think when the rain's coming. It's actually nice and sheltered here. Yeah. We just fish it. Just, just fish, fish it go. I brought a float with us, we just need some limpets. <laughs> Doesn't look deep. Then there, there are boys there, so. Yeah, which, uh, way up the stand. It's not like I can go down now. Well, we're, uh, we're at the mark. It's, uh, wet. It's windy but it's, uh, it's looking good. Lewis has had a couple of casts, got snagged up, which is uh, f normal for a, for a new mark. Just learning where the structure is, but uh, I hopefully this rain will blow through soon and um, we can get out onto the rocks properly. Half of us wants to kind of hang around until the tide Use. drops down, but I will never go on that. And then the swell's picking up. Yes. <laughs> this could be like you know how in sky they move up into the shallower grounds in the summer and you start getting top water. This could be like a massive summer ground mark, you know, rather than a, a winter, because... It's not as deep, it's not as deep, it's not as one day, to be honest. Yeah. Nine down to 17 by 3 o'clock, uh, no. It's just too much here. I'm going to uh, head back to where we went yesterday. It's a nice mark, but uh, the waves are picking up and the wind's just, yeah, 40 mile an hour. I think where we were yesterday, we might at least have a chance of it being on my back. Um, so, back to the car. Nice to be out that wind. Hey. It's a much easier descent here. Unless you get your foot stuck. Me, I mean, what were we doing wasting half the morning going down there? Morning. Is it actually windy?
come on. I took the craw on the drop. Don't think it's very big, mind. I think it just it's in the current. It should be all right with just the uh, the three meter bit out. I was just thinking because it, it just doesn't bend around as much, it's a bit, bit sturdier. This haven't even put up a scrap yet. I think it's probably... Um, tiny! <laughs> Cheers mate, nice one. Oh, it's a Kelpie one, that. It's a different colour to the others from yesterday. Aye. They were a bit more green, weren't they? First fish of the day. Can only get bigger from here. This one took a 4 row with the craw on, on, on the drop as well with the 40 gram chub, but the tide is honking, so I'm guessing the sink rate's pretty low. But uh, let's get it back and uh, let's get a bigger one. Found the structure, leader just, uh, yeah, gone. Time for a new one. The tide is uh, honking, we're going that way, or well, the current anyway, the tide's going out, but there's five different directions we've had down here and you know, five hours of fishing, which is just, just can't get my head around what it does, but I guess more frequency, if we visit more frequently, then we'll have a better idea. Not exactly getting bigger. Different species though. Twenty minutes later it's time for a new leader. Had a bite to eat, the tide's now just turned so uh, the current's going across the way now so it's not very strong so I'm going to try a fish minnow. We all know that these catch fish, but this is only 18 grams, so with the current and the water, they're pretty light, but I want to... It's been quite slow fishing. I think Lewis has had one reasonable one. I've had one... one Pollock and one Coley, so I'm going to really try and slow down the sink rate and uh, see if we can entice these fish that I'm guessing are there to, uh, to bite. Let's see how this gets on. Well, you know, it's a tough day when, uh, when these aren't catching.
28 grams into this trick and caught like a, I don't know, a pollock about that big. So uh, yeah, another fish. Unhooked itself, which is why I'm laughing. But uh, yeah, second cast on the littles then. Got razor claw, razor claw, silver minnow. Let's see if we can get something bigger, but that's the first fish in a good couple of hours. I caught that big fish after I got crapped on. Pretty much the next cast. What? It's meant to be. Dude, shit of me! Shit of me, I'm here! Please! <laughs> Got this little fella miles out. It's welcome though. Nice little white fin tips. Let's get it back. Had a bit of a weird thing happen just before. Cracked off. Braid wrapped around the second eye from the tip and uh, snapped a leader. Don't think I've ever had as many tip wraps as I have done with this new rod. I haven't changed anything in the way I've set up, so still got a long leader on, so maybe my leader's going slower than the braid. But I've been doing that for years and years, so you know. If Anyone else experienced that with a, a tailwalk high tide SSD? Just compared it to Lewis's Dialuna and it's got the same eyes, um, same guides, almost the same spacing as well, and it's not happening with him, so what's the crack? Yeah, crack off, crack, get it? Sorry. Well, that, that's got today written all over it. Foul hooked coolie. Well, we've decided to call it a day. Lewis getting shot on by a bird didn't bring him any luck, just more snags and more uh, snap offs. So we're, uh, I'm going to finish this, um, this winding and then pack up and then uh, head back up the cliff. I think we're going to be trekked to a really nice sunset, which is uh, always nice, and the moon's up behind us as well. That's right. It's not kind of been the day we've been hoping for. Starting off with a bit of a false start with the uh, going to that mark this morning. Two different days, like two consecutive days and two totally different uh, outcomes. You know, yesterday it was just lots of fish and today <laughs> not so many. Me! 
knees. Knees. Yeah. Pressed it out. <laughs> that is true. First cast of a new spot. About two meters deep. Kind of limited in the direction we can cast. Pretty much one way, unless we change marks, because. Uh, yeah, the wind's so strong, it can, we can only fish with it on the back. We're on the move, trying to find somewhere with depth. We lasted about six or seven casts there. But, uh, uh, it's just more like bass territory than pollock territory. Yes, it is. Death. Forty. Yeah, about six seconds. I must admit, it doesn't seem very pollocky. Perfect timing to get out of the car, just when the rain starts. The last mark was no good. So that last mark was a total bust. So we've come down to a place that some of you who have watched my previous Orkney video might recognise but we left the last mark at 3 o'clock and we've only got an hour and a half of daylight by the time we get here so uh, Lewis is casting and let's hope we can salvage a day and get one fish at least between us really heavy ground here like really kelpy and not overly deep Having this crosswind is ma and the swells making it nigh on impossible to, uh, <laughs> to feel when we've hit bottom, or at least kelp. I think as soon as we go in the kelp, then that's lure. game over for the lure. Snag city. Since I've fished here, I know kind of where the fish are. Or where I've caught them before, but casting to them and fishing effectively is uh, tricky to say the least with this wind.
Got a tiny fish. Hallelujah. Let's see if I can get it to the shore. Oh, just as the rain's coming as well. Awesome. Oh, it's come off. Oh, I dropped it on the shore. Oh, that was devastation. It's not very deep, I don't think, there. I've tried that side a bit, and even though the otters and the seals were there, I couldn't get anything. Oh, that's what I'm hitting bottom pretty quick. Although it seems clean for the route, it's only until you get really close to it, you really start having to kill I've got a carrot lift and draw on it, there's just too much wind, so I'm just doing a straight retrieve. I uh, letting it hit the deck and then slow straight retrieve with pauses. Just a wee one you had, I take it. Hey? Just a wee one you had. Aye, uh, but it was a blank saver. <laughs> you get it in? It came off in the swell. <laughs> well, there's no fish here, so we're going to use the last half hour of daylight or something to try and find uh, a way down further along the point. Somewhere that we'll fish tomorrow, hopefully. 